Hey everyone, what's going on? Jeff here from Films at Home, and today I've got one of the most exciting 4K releases of 2020 in my hands. We're going to be taking a look at the Lord of the Rings trilogy on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray. So in this review, I'm going to talk about the packaging, all that comes with this trilogy set, and then I'm going to talk about the individual movies and their picture quality in 4K, some of the audio uh, quality and audio upgrades, and then give an overall recommendation on whether this is worth picking up or not. So stay tuned for all that. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel so you're up to date on the latest reviews like this before they even hit stores. Sometimes I can get copies early and give you guys a good preview of whether this is uh, whether these are worth pickups or not. So make sure you're subscribed to have your notifications on. Other than that, let's jump right into this review. So as I said, Lord of the Rings here, probably the most, when it was announced, the most anticipated, like I, I could not wait for this to get to me on 4K because I absolutely love these movies. I grew up on these movies. I think the first one came out, I was nine or 10 years old. And by the time Return of the King came out, I was 13-ish. So I mean, that's like right in that sweet spot of uh, fantasy movies and Lord of the Rings uh, fandom, like from 10 to 13, everything was just Lord of the Rings. Video games, movies, you name it, everything was Lord of the Rings. So I was so excited to get this because it's actually been a while since I watched these. Um, the last time I watched these was actually watching extended versions, and I haven't sat down and watched the theatrical version in a long time. So I'm so excited now with my uh, new setup, which I'll talk about in a, in a later video, to watch these in 4K and really experience them all over again. So usually I save this for the end, but I do want to talk about the box set as a whole with the packaging and special features to start because I think that's important to establish what this set is all about. So Lord of the Rings, this is the complete trilogy and it has both the theatrical and the extended versions of each of the three movies, which is really nice because in the past, um, you've had to, they came out with the theatrical first, then you bought the extended later when it came out on Blu-ray. It's nice to have them all in this one package on 4K. We won't be waiting for uh, 4K extended versions. So you get all those versions on here in this box set. Also comes with the digital code. The set itself is, um, you know, pretty standard. Like it's a cardboard slip case. Um, and then all the movies are in this, um, like multi disc. I think it's got, uh, eight or nine discs, nine discs in it. So it's a nine disc Blu-ray case, a very thick case. Um, and all these movies were restored by Peter Jackson in 4K with Dolby Vision, with Dolby Atmos. So you're getting just a top of the line experience to, uh, approved by the director with all the best technology we could ask for in 4K. So in this set are just the nine uh, 4K discs. I'll show you a little bit of, of what that's like, but they're in this um, slider. So you've got Fellowship of the, uh, of the Ring, you've got the Two Towers, and you've got Return of the King. And then as you get to the extended versions, because they're so long, they're actually spread across two discs. So this is uh, very unique. Uh, there haven't been many. Lawrence of Arabia was spread across two discs. Um, but these Lord of the Rings extended editions are spread across two discs because of their length, but also because these are quality discs. That's always a good sign because you know the compression isn't going to be super heavy. Otherwise, they would have tried to compress it to fit it on 100 gigabyte disc. Instead, they went to two discs. They did less compression. It's going to be a higher quality image, which is great. Now, this also comes with loads of special features. I could spend probably five minutes talking through all of them. But what we're going to do instead is I'll leave a link down in the description where you can check out the full list of special features. But it does come with many of the things that you'd expect from past Blu-ray releases. So that's a good sign. So overall, a nice package. The fact that we get theatrical and extended is a huge plus, especially for super fans out there who love the extended editions. And getting all of these in 4K, Dolby Vision with Dolby Atmos, it's just an overall great set. Um, there are Steelbook sets available and there's going to be a Middle Earth collection set available that includes these movies uh, and the Hobbit movies. So there's a few different options for collectors. This is the base set and it's running for about $90 right now, which is pretty fair if you consider you're getting the three theatrical and the three extended editions. You figure you're paying about $15 for each one. That's a pretty good deal, I think. So now to talk through the movies. Uh, Fellowship of the Ring, I checked out first. Obviously, I did these in order and uh, the movies really are like these are some of the most pristine 4K transfers that I've seen. And I think that speaks volumes to what Peter Jackson and his team can do on these transfers 
to the ability that Warner Brothers has and to the original source for these movies because they're shot on 35 millimeter, extremely high quality, so much money was put into these, beautiful cinematography. They used every kind of uh, you know high def, high tech camera that was available to them at the time. And even the CGI um, in these movies, it gets better obviously as we go on, but they were all kind of made basically in the same three or four year period. So it's not a huge improvement, but the nice thing is I was thinking, you know, King Kong, Peter Jackson's King Kong with the CGI in 4K, I had some issues. It looked kind of cheesy. And that's a few years after Lord of the Rings. And I thought the CGI in here, maybe it's just because of the, the money and the technology and the, the amount of uh, teamwork that went into this, but it doesn't look that bad. It's not distracting. And there are still a lot of practical effects. So Fellowship of the Ring is is probably has the least action of all of them, right? It's a lot of setting up in the first hour and a half. And then the last hour and a half of the movie is more action packed. The standout scenes in Fellowship of the Ring, obviously the Mines of Moria, um, the scenes in there for Dolby Atmos experience, that's about as good as it gets. You think about fighting in this in this mine, in this huge cave, cavern, and the, the sound effects bouncing off the walls and the echoes and all the action that's taking place there. That was an absolute standout, incredible Atmos experience. And then at the end, you know, there's some good Atmos um, with the, the fight in the woods with the Urukai. Um, the Balrog scene in the mind was really good for Atmos. So, I mean, it, it is a, a truly great experience. Even when they're just walking through the Shire, you pick up birds and things in the background with the Atmos mix that I just never really noticed before. I've also never listened to this on a uh, even a 5.1 previous times I've watched this have been in, in smaller settings. So a lot of really cool audio things and the visuals are just, they're really pristine. It's 35 millimeter, but if you're one of the grain haters out there, um, I, I couldn't pick up a single ounce of grain while watching this. And there should be considering it's shot on film, but wow, like super, super clean. Just an incredible image. The Dolby Vision really does add a lot, especially because a lot of scenes in Fellowship especially are very dark. I just loved the picture and it, it set the standard for the rest of the set in a good way um, because Fellowship of the Ring, uh, although it's not the most exciting of the three movies, it's, it's certainly one that you have to watch. It, it sets up the whole story and it just looks absolutely incredible. I, I was so thrilled and it got me so excited to then jump into the two towers. So now the two towers, man, what a great 4K image and what a great upgrade over the Blu-ray because if you know the two towers, um, probably the, the biggest scene in it is the, is the battle that takes place primarily at night. And that scene could get a little muddy and a little uh, hard to, to make out, a little dark on the Blu-ray disc. But with this HDR and Dolby Vision and that upgraded 4K resolution, I thought that was a much improved experience. And that was the biggest thing I was looking for when it came to the two towers, because that was where I struggled the most with watching this on DVD and Blu-ray over the years, was just making out things in that scene. Um, I kind of liken it to like the long night in Game of Thrones. It's a very similar experience in terms of how dark it can be if you're not watching it on the right setup. But with this 4K disc, it is absolutely incredible. I can't imagine it looking much better. The rest of the movie, again, same as Fellowship. Solid grain structure to the point where like, I couldn't even tell that it was shot on 35 millimeter. And, and that it is one of the best 35 millimeter to 4K transfers that I've seen hands down that f this entire set because of that. Like the detail is so fine. The grain is there, but you don't see it. Um, it's a much different experience from watching a movie from the 60s or 70s or the 80s that was transferred to 4K and they often have heavier grain. The technology just wasn't as good and it's harder because the source is older to get that pristine picture. Here, they obviously have really pristine quality sources and Peter Jackson and Warner Brothers just uh, blew it out of the park, really. Um, Two Towers is another great example of the Atmos tracks and where that is a huge upgrade over previous Blu-rays because, again, in, in that battle, that's what stands out to me. Um, but there's also many other moments uh, throughout that movie where you're like, this is, this is a new experience. This is loud. This is, I feel like I'm in the middle of this rather than, you know, even a 5.1 track. 
adding the height effects when you have these large scale battles is a game changer. And Two Towers was awesome. Everything about it, top to bottom, the 4K was incredible, the audio was incredible. Um, you know, it's like really hard to review these because so far, Fellowships, straight five out of five. Two Towers, straight five out of five. Some of the best 4K discs I've ever seen. And now the end of the trilogy, Return of the King. And what an, first of all, what an awesome movie all three of these are. And Return of the King is incredible. Like, I truly, I, I still believe, you know, I had this like, as a 10 year old, I'm like, you know, these are the best movies ever made. And now 18 years later, 19, 19 years later, watching these again, I'm like, no, these are still some of the best movies ever made. I mean, just the storytelling, um, the, 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 how epic they are, how faithful they are to the books in many ways, and, and still maintain that, that movie quality. Like, it, it's an incredible, Peter Jackson, like, deserves all the praise in the world for these movies. And now all the praise in the world to these 4K transfers because Return of the King is the best looking of the bunch, in my opinion. It is so clean, but it has the most action, right? So that's where, like, there is, there's like an hour-long battle in Return of the King where your Atmos system, and even, even if you have a 5.1 or 7.1 and you don't have Atmos, like your neighbors are gonna be calling you and asking you if your house is okay, um, cause it's gonna sound like there's explosions going off inside of your house. Like the, the soundtrack and the audio on this is incredible. And the other thing I should mention in Return of the King um, obviously has one of the best of the, of the three, but the score, the music, like listening to an orchestra in your living room, like absolutely incredible music. And uh, the movies have some of the greatest, you know, score of all time. But man, listening to that score in the middle of a battle with arrows flying overhead and people falling off walls and falling off buildings and explosions over here and over there and the, the cry of the orcs and people yelling and like, wow, like what, what an immersive experience that this 4K disc gives you. And... I just like it it's this seems so it, it seems so hard to review because I'm literally I, I get to the point where I'm watching Return of the King and I'm like trying to find something wrong. I'm like trying to find something I can talk about that isn't damn near perfect with these three movies. And I, I just really can't do it. The only minor, minor, minor complaint I have is that sometimes the HDR does crush a little bit and it gets a little too dark but like i said those scenes in the two towers and a lot of the scenes in fellowship where it's really really dark in the mines um at the end of the battle in the two towers like those scenes look so much better on 4k than they did on blu-ray so like it, it's a such a minor complaint but it's not even a complaint when we talk about upgrading because it's still better than what you previously had. I, I just, I'm having a hard time finding anything to complain about. The Atmos is incredible. The audio is overall, the score, sound effects, everything is amazing. The picture quality is amazing. These are three of the best 4K discs that I've ever reviewed. Never mind 2020, never mind um, any other disc out there. This beats out movies like 2001 A Space Odyssey. This beats out movies like Joker, which is one of my, my go-to like demo discs to show what 4K digital can do for you. This looks better than that. It looks better than any 4K Blu-ray I've seen. If I had to make a list right now, these movies are going right at the top. Warner Brothers and Peter Jackson and his team knocked these out of the park, which is awesome for collectors and fans and super fans of the movie like me. Um, what an experience watching these again in 4K. And the, having the extended versions also in 4K and fully restored um, with Atmos and everything else, I mean, just an incredible overall experience. So I think you know where I'm going with this one, but I highly, highly recommend you pick up Lord of the Rings on 4K. Even if, like, this literally may be the reason for some of you to finally upgrade to 4K. It's that good. If you don't have a 4K TV and a 4K player and you've been going back and forth, if you don't have that surround sound system you've been meaning to put in, that Atmos system you've been meaning to upgrade to, this will be the reason that you do it because these are incredible. You're gonna buy a 4K TV and a player and an Atmos system and even if these are the only discs you watch, you're not gonna be disappointed. Fans are gonna love it. Serious home theater enthusiasts are going to love it. And even if you're just watching it on your 4K TV in your living room, the picture quality is so incredible and so well done that you're going to love it that way as well. So like no matter what, 
um, you'll have a great experience. But I do think this will draw a lot of people into 4K. I think this will be a huge seller. This is, still has a massive, massive following and fan base. And I could see this being a disc that really helps out physical media sales. Um, and, you know, as well as the Hobbit trilogy that's coming out with this and all the special editions, I think you're going to see this really help boost the market um, and give it a really strong end of the year going into the holiday season, which is a good sign heading into 2021 and gives us all and all the studios out there like Warner Brothers full faith that these discs are going to sell well. Um, and at $90, you know, like I said, the Blu-ray extended editions of The Lord of the Rings were like, 25 bucks a piece 20 dollars a piece so that's 60 70 bucks right there then if you want the theatricals talk you know another 10 a piece you're already at 90 if you want to buy these on blu-ray so 90 dollars to upgrade to 4k 15 bucks a pop incredible value i think just just absolutely incredible value so I will leave a link down in the description where you can pick this up on Amazon that helps support my channel, but also helps support Warner Brothers and what they're doing with physical media. A lot of other outlets have these as well, so you don't have to use the Amazon link. Check your local video stores to be a good way to support them. A place like Bull Moose or Family Video. You can also find the Steelbooks. I believe those are only at Best Buy. I'll have to double check on that. I'm not a huge Steelbook guy like you know, um, so I typically go for the base sets. And then there is later, um, it's not released yet, but there is gonna be a complete Middle Earth collection that includes Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit and has a, a kind of a bigger uh, gift set together with more uh, special features and like collectibles. So something to keep an eye out for. But uh, if you buy this now, 90 bucks, you're not gonna be disappointed. That's a good deal. Uh, I don't really see it going down anytime soon. It's coming out around the holidays. It's gonna stay at 90. Uh, and maybe next year it'll start to trickle down and drop into the $70, $80 range. At that price, it'd be a steal. But anybody who pre-ordered this, you're not gonna be disappointed. You're gonna be so happy. If you're a super fan, this is a, a brand new experience. It's you, You've never seen Lord of the Rings like this. Even, I saw them all in the theaters. This is this is arguably better than what I saw in the movie theaters. So um, what, a, what a great experience and what a joy to be able to check these out early. So thanks to Warner Brothers for sending them. Um, I also do have The Hobbit, so I'll be checking those out. But I got a stack of 4K discs I gotta get through. So I wanted to bang this out first. I have tons more 4K coming. 4K reviews, movie tours, uh, movie room tours, uh, TV reviews, all kinds of stuff. So make sure you're subscribed and have your notifications on. Follow me on Instagram to stay up to date with all the latest that's going on in my life and with the channel. Um, but other than that, hope you have a great rest of your day. I'm going to try to upload a couple more videos here this week before Thanksgiving. But if you don't watch any before then, have a great Thanksgiving. Be safe out there. Um, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching.